Hello friends, welcome to this Java programming tutorial series. I am Dinesh Uriani, owner of Java blog by the name Learn Java by Examples. You can visit to this blog at the following link at www.habarspot.com. Do visit to this blog if you want to learn this great programming language. And today I will be continuing to teach you Java programming language. So let's get started. Hello friends, let's continue with our Java programming tutorial series. Today we will discuss about the arithmetic operators in Java. So friends, what are arithmetic operators in Java? Basically, arithmetic operators are used to perform mathematical calculations on the operands of numeric types. The operators are also called binary operators as they work on two operands. So in this slide there is a table which shows the operator and what it means addition operator subtraction operator multiplication division modulus addition assignment operator subtraction assignment operator multiplication assignment operator division assignment operator and modulus assignment operator so we will see each of this operator how to use in java programming language so let's go ahead with eclipse So friends, let's create a Java class which will demonstrate the usage of arithmetic operators in Java. Okay, suppose we keep the name of the classes. So this is the class which we have created by the name arithmetic operator demo. Let's create a method inside it. Public void name we have created a main method inside the arithmetic operator demo class now this method as soon as we run the program this method will be called by the JVM so let's discuss the arithmetic operators and its usage in this method so first let's create a few variables in number one we give it to the value 10 number two and give the value as five so here what we have done we have created two numbers number one and number two number one we have assigned a value of 10 and on the number two we have assigned the value of five now let's see what the arithmetic operators actually do to these two numbers. So first we will go with the addition operator. Now say so we create a third variable which stores the result. So first we will go with the addition operator. Here we have created a integer by the name result which will store the, the value of number one plus number two so let's say if you want to print what's the result we can output it on the console by the, by using system dot out dot print element method sum of two numbers is and we print the result so as soon as we run the program we see sum of two numbers as 15 so 10 plus 5 gives us 15 so now let's move ahead with subtraction operator so we store the result in the same variable result we do number 1 minus number 2 and we print the subtraction of two numbers over the console as difference of two numbers is result. Now, when we run the program, we we see that it prints the difference of two numbers is five. So what did actually what it actually did? It took the number one and subtracted number two from it. It took ten and subtracted 5 from it. Now let's move ahead with the division operator. 
So say we store the result, the result variable. We do number one divided by number two. System dot out dot repetition two numbers result. So when we run the program again, we see. The division of two numbers came out to be two. So ten divided by five gives us two. Now let's move ahead with multiplication of the two. We do result equals number one into number two, and we print this also on the console product. Of the two number is result. So when we run the program again, we see the product of two number is fifty. So ten into five gives fifty. So now let's go with the modulus operator. Percentage sign. Let's see how it's used. Number one. Percentage number two. So what modulus operator does is take it takes one number and takes another number. Say uh, here, suppose we take the example here. It it takes ten and it divides ten by five. So whatever the remainder is, it prints out the remainder. Here, if we do ten modulus five, we get the result as zero. Because when you divide 10 by 5, you get the remainder as zero. So modulus operator just outputs the remainder for us. Result is result. When we run the program again, we see the modulus result is zero. So let's move on now with the assignment operators. Now assignment operators. Comes with the say a flavor of say plus equals minus equals multiplication equals and division equals and modulus equals. So so friends, now let's see how to use the assignment operators with the different versions, say addition, subtraction, division, and modulus. Here the operators say is denoted by So suppose if we say addition assignment is denoted by plus equal equal to for subtraction it will be like minus equal to for division it will be like division equal to and for multiplication it will be like multiplication equal to for modulus it will be like modulus equal to so what it signifies uh, in the Java programming world let's see through an example. Now suppose I write one statement: number one plus equals one. So this statement, when it gets executed, it executes something like this: number one equals number one plus one. So it takes. So what it denotes? Uh, so suppose we uh, we have number one value as ten. So what it will do? It will take number ten. It will add one to it, and it will assign eleven back to number one. So initially number one value was ten, and after performing the addition assignment operator, it it, take, it changes it to eleven. So if we print on print it on the console, we'll see. Say suppose we write this result of addition. Assignment is number one. When we run the program, we see that the result of addition assignment is eleven. So let's move ahead with other assignment operators. Say if we work with subtraction, we will put work like number one minus equals two. Suppose. So what it actually does? It does 
number one equals number one minus two and if you print it on the console we see the result of subtraction assignment is number one when we run the program we that result of subtraction assignment is nine so here here it took 11 it took 11 it subtracted minus 2 from it and it outputted 9 back to number 1 so now let's see what division assignment operator does so suppose we take the same example say number 1 division operator equals 3 suppose we do this so what it actually does behind is it takes number 1 equals number 1 divided by 3 basically the, when this statement gets executed the java compiler converts it into like this something like this that and say it takes a number 1 it divides it by 3 and it assigns the same number back to the number 1 variable so let's see what it prints the result of division assignment is bar so when we run the program we see that it's print 3 so here number 1 value was 9 it took 9 it divided 9 by 3 and, it, and the result 3 assigned it back to number 1 so number 1 variable now stores value of 3 now let's see what module multiplication assignment does it's similar as number 1 into 3 so what it does behind the scene the compiler it converts number 1 to number 1 into 3 so it takes the number number 1 it multiplies it by 3 and assign it back assign it back to number 1 so if you print it on the console we see assignment is number 1 when we run the program we see that in the number 1 value was 3 it multiplied it with the 3 and sign it back to number 1 so number 1 now has value of 9 now let's say we test modulus assignment operator its syntax is something number 1 modulus equals say if we say 4 so here it will be like something as number 1 equals number 1 modulus 4 or it will be like it, it will take say 9 modulus 4 so when 9 is divided by 4 it gives us remainder 1 so it will take number 9 it will divide it by 4 and whatever the remainder is of this uh, operation it assign it back to number one so when we try to print it out on the console modulus assignment is number one so here it should print as one so here it printed as one so friends this was the usage of arithmetic operators and if we say move upwards to just for a uh, recap it started with say uh, two numbers say 10 and 5 number number 1 had value 10 and number 2 had value 5 and we took a say a, a third variable which uh, we used whole in the which we use in the in this tutorial say uh, by the name result here first we did 
the addition operator we perform the addition uh, we used addition operator here we did number 1 plus number 2 the sum was here if you see it was 15 10 plus 5 gave, the, gave us 15 so if I look it here it was like 10 plus 5 equals 15 and if you move it we, see, we saw that uh, the subtraction operator by the uh, simple dash so what this did number 1 minus number 2 did something like 10 minus 5 this gave us the result as 5 it, the same in the console it was like the difference of two numbers so in the third we saw the division and what it uh, what what it actually did is 10 divided by 5 this gave us 2 so here it printed as the difference of two number as 2 now let's move ahead we also saw the multiplication operator what this multiplication operator did it took 10 it multiplied it with 5 and outputted result as 50 so here you see the product of two numbers printed as 50 and if we move ahead again we saw the modulus operator which takes one number which takes two number divides the other number by the first number and whatever the remainder is it's print into the console so what it did it it took say number 10 divided it by number 5 and when 10 divide, gets divided by 5 it sends remainder as 0 so it printed modulus result as 0 over here the assignment operator as we saw that it it's like it, the syntax is like plus equal to and it takes the PC it takes the same number assign the, uh, the number which you want to add and sets it back to the same number say number 1 and the same the other operator was say uh, the syntax would be the minus equal to division equals to and multiplication to and also modulus equals to so the, the difference only is it takes the number to the operation by the another number and assign it back to the same number and here in the console is the result so this was the arithmetic operators demo in java so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.